All right, yo, what's going on? So today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, just changing some little things on the Jenny, nothing too crazy, you know, things that I've wanted to do for a little bit, cosmetic wise, not anything like performance or nothing like that. Paint match the grill, my, my M&S grill that I got for the car. So we're gonna put that in. Um, I forgot to record the process of actually paint matching and everything, but We'll do that with the, with the side skirts next when I refinish those and paint match and everything to that too. And then we'll also be cutting the bumper on the, the rear bumper of the Jenny. I want to get rid of it. It kind of flaps anyways because it's cracked on the bottom of mine. So we're going to get rid of that. And then I also got a new part in the mail. Nothing crazy. It's an adjustable clutch rod. So here's the package right here. Get this open for you. This is the part. Nothing crazy, you know. Replaces the plastic one clutch rod that over time it ends up ovaling out this. So right now we're gonna just put in the grill and then Cut the Jenny's bumper. Yeah, so this is the grill as it is right now, paint matched. Um, it is like a two-piece one from from M and S. So I have the other part part of it still on the car and everything. But so we're just gonna pop this back in, and then we're gonna cut the Jenny rear bumper. Yeah, that looks 10 times better. I don't mind how dirty it is right now. I haven't cleaned it. Plus, it's been nothing but snowing and raining over here in Connecticut. So I don't feel like actually actually bringing anything out to clean it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be chopping all of this off. Leaving like a mounting point for the, uh, for the license plate. But... It also stops my exhaust from melting the plastic off on the, the bumper too, so I'm going to get the Dremel out and start chopping. All right, all you're going to need for this now is either a Dremel or like an oscillating tool. Um, I prefer, you know, the Dremel. It's cleaner cut and everything. You get to also put the attachment on to sand it down, make sure everything is nice. But if you don't got a Dremel... You got one of these, you could use this, but just know it's gonna be a little bit messier, a little bit harder to use, can't be as precise. So hopefully, yeah, I got some tools. Reach in here, grab my, I'm gonna grab my Dremel. You know. Going back now. <laughs> when you do this, make sure you do have some sort of eye protection. I don't, but I got glasses, so. I did have a few chunks go right under, up above. And this is hot ass plastic. You don't want that in your eye.
for this, you can either take the Dremel or like your oscillating tool to it. But if you guys shoot a little box cutter, it's just foam. You, know, you can easily cut right through this. And I'm also gonna take this around the uh, rough edges of everything and make it nice and smooth so that you don't have any of like that rough edge going on. so much cleaner Sheesh. yeah that's definitely a new look for sure you know so the next thing i'll be tackling will be call this this and re clear coating all that or just going no trunk clip for a little bit until i get the one that i that i want but yeah, it's the Jenny's new look now. But it'll be like 20 minutes of work with everything I did so far. So yeah. So this is gonna be the end of the video. You know, I will be getting these tires removed, those tires put on later today. So, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think.